What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. And this right here, this is it. This is the last day. Well, you know, last day we can actually do something before the final battle of the pre-time skip. It's been a long time coming, and we're going to start off because I will admit I did this off camera and I'm wishing I hadn't now. I was trying to get some uh, ranks going and I stumbled upon this. It's too rare that we get a chance to kick back and stuff our faces. Come on, Shamir, time to gorge. I apologize for my partner, Professor. Darn it! I wish I had my first reaction to that. I should have known better, but anyways. Do they even get a support from that? No, they don't. Okay. I was trying to work on it. Anywho. Uh, yeah. I've also done a poll on whether or not to recruit Hilda or not. I'll do that, or I'll say what my results are after this. Let's do our supports first. And I think I'll start Yuri and Dorothea. Nice to see you, Yurikins. I was wondering if you might do me a favor. You're looking a bit serious, Ladybird. Oh, your foot. What happened? It's healing nicely, but I'm not supposed to put too much weight on it. Okay. Ah, so that's why you've called me here. What do you need? Help with errands? Not an errand. An opera. Wow. I see. Did she? I mean, I'm assuming she actually got her foot hurt, but... There's been some loose plans for a performance. Nothing professional, strictly volunteer. I signed up to take part as one of the main roles. And then this happened. The professor told me I should bow out just to be on the safe side. I mean, you should. Makes sense to stay off your feet while you heal. Meanwhile, you want me to fill your role, right? Got it in one. I'm glad we're on the same page here. Surely someone else is up to the task. Professor Manuela, for example. Well, that's a good suggestion. Already tried. Trust me, I wouldn't ask unless I was desperate. I knew how much you'd hate the idea. What did she say? Aside from hating it, I also wouldn't remotely sound like you do. That's true. Oh, don't worry about that. Most of our audience won't be able to tell the difference. The crowd's going to be a bunch of down-on-their-luck children that the monastery's taken in. I see. I'm only talking about a small festival in the plaza. We want to give them a good show, that's all. Well, that was good of you to volunteer for something like that. You have an idea of what they've been through. I thought you might want to pitch in. Mm hmm I hear your angle. Yeah, this seems like the perfect plot to get Yuri to do this. Admittedly, though, I'm... Pretty sure she, her ankle is actually broken. Fine, fine, yes, I'll do it. Good for you. I knew you'd rise to the occasion. In this specific circumstance. You certainly know how to pull heartstrings to get your way, don't you? Well? Where did you learn to do that anyway? The opera. Could be. I've never known a songstress who wasn't both beautiful and resourceful. I mean, considering the only two I know are you and Manuela. Now, are you ready to go over the libretto? You've got a lot of rehearsing to do before the performance. Seriously, though. Thanks, Yurikins. Well, that seemed very genuine, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, not sure if you guys are familiar. I recently just saw somebody in my Discord. I know it is, I just, you know, don't know if people want me mentioning them. And they changed their profile pic to Azura. Azura from Fire and Fates is actually a songstress. Uh, they don't use dancers in that game, so they use singers, which, you know, don't really. I mean, there is a difference. Song mattered in that game. Uh, uh, that's kind of one of the juicier ones. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I've already seen this one, but. Hey, Ignatz. What are you doing here? Uh, hello? Oh, you're painting. Ingrid, what are you doing here? It looks like he was praying. I could ask you the same. I did ask you the same. Anyway, I'm just visiting the cathedral. 
I must say, that painting is looking wonderful. Ah, uh, don't look, don't look! Why not? It really looks great. Really? I wouldn't lie. Let me have a look. Oh, it's the statue of St. Saros. Which looks nothing like her. I hope you don't think I was ignoring you. When I'm painting, I get totally absorbed. Of course not. My feelings aren't hurt so easily. Hmm. What if you gave her a more edgy outfit? Shorten up her skirt or something? Knowing that she's talking about Rhea now brings a whole new dynamic to this conversation. No, that would be improper. Ooh, and how about making her sword bigger? Oh, oh, turn her into a valiant knight. But she's not a knight. Ah, uh, come on. Just this once? <sighs> Ingrid seems a lot lighter and chipper in the support. Huh. She doesn't exactly look like a knight. More like a maniacal demigod. I guess that's the effect. I mean, the Blue Iron House is just filled with heavy stuff, so... Yeah. It just kind of came out that way. It's different. Not quite how I envisioned. It's my fault. I should have stuck to my original idea. I'm sorry I pushed you, Ignatz. I'll leave you be. I wanted to get a lot of these now, as many as I could, because I people really mention, and by the way, if you're wondering the conversation I have with Dimitri, it's Gilbert. Another thing people were really telling me is that they really wanted me to get uh, Dimitri into do supports with Gilbert early on because they thought they fit more. If only I didn't have to go get Ferdinand and was, well, yeah, then all the other characters as well. I spent a lot of the time I would or could use to um, work on the supports, um, trying to get them. Anyways, focus, focus. Oh, and Ingrid's second with Raphael. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's continue that. Huh? Is that Ingrid? I'd better get out of here before she scolds me again. I actually haven't seen this one. Actually, she looks kind of sad. Maybe I shouldn't run away. Hey, Ingrid! Why do you look so sad? Are you hungry or something? You know, they could actually bond over that. Oh, it's you. No, I'm not hungry. You're not hungry? But you're sad anyway? I don't get it. Are you sick? Well, you know, there are more things than food, Raph. No. Then are you sure you're not hungry? I just told you that wasn't it. It's nothing you can help with anyway. Well, sometimes you gotta talk it out. That's what my grandpa says. Yeah, I guess that's helpful sometimes. Are you willing to listen then? What's she gonna talk about? Glenn or the marriage? another marriage proposal? Of course! Uh, please. Go ahead. I've just received yet another letter from my father regarding a marriage arrangement with a noble family. I wonder... Well, I'll keep listening for now. I see, I see. I am the only person in House Galatea capable of carrying on our family line, of passing on a crest. Ah, I see, I see. Bruh! Raph is literally hitting her with the, mm-hmm, that's right. I've long understood that it would be expected of me to marry, of course. Hmm, I see. <laughs> I see. Oh, no! Raphael, are you even listening? Please don't say, hmm, I see, I see. I'm right there with you, but... Oh. Did you hear that ominous sound? Was that thunder? Sorry. All that listening made me hungry. It hasn't even been that long! After hearing you out, I think you're probably just hungry too. And your troubles are sure to go away after a good meal. I really am not hungry. But I can't say no to good food. I was about to say, if this was anybody else but Ingrid... Alright, let's just eat then. I can tell you about my struggles some other time, maybe. But well, you could talk while you eat. <laughs> Uh, how many do they have? Three, but she has four with Ignatz. Interesting. 
Hmm. All right. I think we should go to Felix next. Yeah, I cannot see whatever this is going to be. Like, Lysithia's had some sort of misunderstanding. Annette's had some sort of misunderstanding. Bernie's the queen of that. Let's just do it. Oh no, it's Felix. He's coming right at me. And here we go. If I run, he'll chase me. Maybe if I just hold really, really still. That doesn't work. Ahem. Whatever it is, I didn't do it, I swear. Unless I'm offending you just by standing here. No, here. I believe this is yours. Okay. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's my satchel. Wait, where did you get that? Stop asking questions and just take it. What? You can't answer that question? No! Trap! It's a trap! Yep, see? When I say. Why are you acting like this? Acting? Does this terror on my face look fake to you? Well... You're being difficult. Come on, this is yours. I can't! Your icy glare has frozen me completely! Shut up, just take the thing. No! Please don't kill me! What? He's going to... <laughs> How did you- What the heck? I can't do this anymore! Did she just disarm Felix? What an odd girl. But she certainly caught my attention. I've never seen that technique before. Interesting! That's not what I would have thought- no, I still have to give this back to her. That's not where I thought that was going. Yeah, I definitely can't see that happening. Um, well, it can't happen post time skip. Well, maybe. I don't know. All right, just after seeing what Dimitri did, doesn't exactly seem like the vibes. You're following me. Stop. I am leaving you alone just as you asked. I may be walking the same way as you, but. Right. What do you want? You've made it abundantly clear I'm not to want anything from you, including politeness. I heard a rumor that you're planning to settle down with a noble. You're trying to get close to me, aren't you? You want to marry into House Fraldarius. I mean, is that not untrue? Nice try, Felix, but it's not like any old noble will do. I just find you interesting is all. Is that so odd? Interesting? I'm not interesting. What do you mean? I've never met a noble so... Unsociable. Oh, really? Yes, that's the word. Unsociable. I mean, if that's what you're in for, or into. Other nobles are quick to be friends, even if it's just because they might gain something from it. Uh huh. The Empire's nobility, maybe. The Kingdom's nobility is a whole different animal. I'm gonna latch on to what Felix just said right there. Another thing that's been ringing in my ears is Edelgard's reason for not join or joining forces with Claude that he doesn't know Fotlin and so she can't entrust it to him I've already said it but it's just I'm expecting a lot from her from that line that she would have to know the kingdom's politics incredibly well and the alliance which considering she got allies in there perhaps that is true if they are so what you should care how others think of you why? I don't answer to them. All that matters is improving my skill. I mean, I can see based on, you know, what's happened to him, why he thinks that. I'll prove my worth on the battlefield. Those people care so much about appearances, they can't even see each other. It makes me sick. Now I actually agree with you on that, Felix. Oh, I agree. What's important isn't how someone looks, it's their true nature. You don't say! I don't pretend to know your true nature. I don't even have a very good understanding of my own. But I suppose you see mine just fine, don't you? You think? Just a silly girl with no thoughts in her head except for marrying a noble. Yes? <laughs> Goodbye, Felix. Hmm. Well, if anything, their A-ring should be interesting. Okay. Let's go to Hannah Man and Marianne next. <sighs> I 
should head back. I imagine he's gonna be curious about her mystery crest. The crest of the Finish beast! Your training, Miss Marianne. Oh, P Professor Henneman. Yes, I've just finished training for the day. He has the Golden Deer class now, right? You have merely completed the exercises assigned to you, yes? Nothing more? Or am I wrong? Yes. I'm sorry. I should have done more. No, no, please. You've done as you were asked. Quite solid work, child. Then what was your point for saying that, Hannah, man? I simply wish to ask a question. Yep. You possess a crest, do you not? To be honest, there's a lot of interesting crest in, or crest situations in the Golden Deer. I... <sighs> when you entered the officer's academy, your father submitted a request to the monastery, as well as a significant donation. Do you mean Edmund or actual father? Your father asked that your crest not be confirmed under any circumstances. Really? At first, I thought he did not want the world to know that his daughter bore no crest. In your father's position as a newly minted noble, it would be most advantageous for his daughter to possess a crest, you see. Okay, so it is Edmund. However, I am now certain I was wrong. I believe you do, in fact, possess a crest of some sort. How did you find out? The church was right. I'm just now realizing that. I have been called the father of Crestology, which is a bit of an ostentatious title, I admit. However... I mean, after Catherine's claim that she could just tell Asithia had her crest, I'm willing to believe you can tell with a glance or, you know, very intense observation. A brief period of observation yep. allows me to hazard a usually accurate guess as to whether a body houses a crest or not. With the knowledge of your father's actions and my own observations, I come to you with a warning. A warning? As a crest bearer, you are guaranteed to have certain talents. It is prudent to study your crest diligently to ensure your safe mastery of these talents, whatever they may prove to be. No, no. I have no talents. Oh, yes. You do. No matter how hard you may try to hide it, my sight is keener than that. And what I see, others will eventually notice as well. Very true. Those who hold power must wield it in the service of their fellow man, Miss Marianne. You think so? I believe that is true, whether you are peasant or noble. And doubly true, I would say, for those with crests. Or do you think I'm wrong? With great power comes great responsibility. Though, in all fairness to her, you won't see her crest pop up unless she actually wields a weapon. I... Uh... If she's just using magic, it it is hidden. Because most of the Golden Deer route, I didn't even see it. On principle alone. It is a waste to allow a rare talent to remain dormant. I would like very much to advise you to aid your understanding of your crest. Will you accept my offer? I'm actually very interested in this. I mean, I'm interested in a lot of Hannah Man's conversations. No, I refuse. Oh. That is regrettable. A veritable tragedy, Miss Marianne. Well, when you know the story behind a crest, it makes sense. Which I will be doing that paralogue again. That's the whole reason I have Marianne in the trickster class to begin with. I figure it would help a lot more in heart mode. Okay. Ending it off. Ash and Catherine. What's wrong, Ash? Why are you standing there? I've been thinking. No matter what I do, Lenato and my brother are never coming back. Do you hate me? Well, that's a question. I don't know. Maybe I do. I know you're an ally I can trust, a knight I can respect. But maybe I do. I think that's fair, you know? It's like if you can still work with somebody, but still, you know, you're like, I don't like work. I don't like you personally, but I'm not going to let that get in the way of the job we got to do. Why don't you take a swing at me? I bet that'll make you feel better. I don't know about that. What? Don't just stand there with that timid look on your face. Come at me. I don't think that's going to help. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that one. This isn't about avenging the dead. It's about taking revenge for yourself. 
Well, this is, <laughs> I think, a good setup for the post time skip. It's how survivors move on. You don't say. What will you do, Ash? You're welcome to stare at your feet for the rest of your life. Yeah, Catherine will fit very well in the blue lion route, or fits well. <sighs> ah, that look in your eye. I like it. You what? <laughs> Come on, put your back into it. I mean, she's helping him. <sighs> Catherine. Yes, Ash? I don't know what's right anymore. I don't. I think that's fair as well. Don't be a fool. You decide for yourself what's right and what's wrong. I believe Lady Rhea is right, so I won't allow anyone to bring her harm. Hmm. What about a friend? How could you kill a friend to protect her with no hesitation? I couldn't. I'll never forget that day. When they took him, all I could do was stand there. I had to persuade myself, saying over and over under my breath, this is the right thing to do. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have been able to stand there. I would have cried out. I'm still persuading myself even now. I probably will be for the rest of my life. Well, that's fair. If I let myself regret what happened, he will have died for no reason. Catherine. I mean, you do got to make a decision in that instance. He was caught between a rock and a hard place. Uncertainty is weakness. Someday, Ash, you'll have to make up your mind. You know who I am. What will you do about it? I... Because one... Another thing I've been thinking about is how Ash changed. Like, he was a very different person... He was the first person we ran into at uh, post time skip. And I was like, this doesn't seem like Ash, and even more so, you know, getting to know him. I'm like, he changed. So on that note, time for the big man himself. Well, actually, before we do that, I got two more spots. I was thinking I should use the dining staff for something. Can we get one more support? By the way, I've always found this to be weird. Anna and Happy have this like dish that's solely for them. And Happy has this one. Not quite sure why. Alright, how about Seth and Felix? The flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm, I'd like some more. That looks appetizing. Anything? Nope. Well, it would seem that most of uh, everyone... I can't get another support. At least not through this method. So, I'll just end it with Annette and Lysithia. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. I mean, I'm not sure their motivation will even be the same after this. Alright, and with the sound of the bell... Here you are, Gilbert. Have you finished your prayers? Oh, your highness. I... this... Uh, but you and I are the only ones present, so I suppose I should not call you Gilbert. That's not his real name? Gustav. It's been a while, hasn't it? Around three years, I believe. Gustav. I feel like I did know that, but it's been so long. Your Highness, I must deeply apologize for leaving the kingdom without permission. I was... There is no need to explain, old friend. I can guess at your reasons. The tragedy of Dusker. I see. You felt responsible for that incident yep. and sought respite in the Goddess, abandoning your name, rank, and homeland in repentance. Am I right? I have no excuses to offer. This... it was all I could think to do. That makes sense. I always knew you for a pious man. And I figured that if you were to leave, this is where you would end up. You have changed much. Your face does not have the same resolve it once did. If I may, your highness, 
You have changed as well. Yeah. I can't disagree. Yeah. It was my duty to protect his majesty, your father. Naturally, that also included Lady Patricia and yourself as well. My father and mother are gone. No amount of regret will bring them back. My dreams are haunted by the thought that had I arrived at Dusker more swiftly... Was there something you could do, Gilbert? I mean, everybody got taken out. You saved my life at Dusker. Oh. I have only gratitude for you. No blame to speak of. Really? Return to the kingdom, Gustav. I need your strength to help rebuild the rotten husk that Fargus has become. Please, I beg your forgiveness. But there is no place left for me in that land. I see. Though much has changed, your stubbornness remains. I have no desire to trouble you. If you do not wish to return, that is your choice to make. But I do advise you to at least visit the place of your birth. If only for your family's sake. Yeah, and that's been looking for you. <laughs> yes, your highness. Thank you. I appreciate your concern. Well, I certainly understand why people wanted me to get that uh, now. I mean, heck, the conversation he has in the monastery itself at this moment would slightly contradict what he said in that because he said he thinks he wants to go back to the kingdom. So I wonder why they don't allow you to get Gilbert earlier then. Maybe for Annette's sake. All right. Now, for the main event. Wait. Yeah. I want to show you guys something. Well, first, let's head to Ferdinand. Did it work? Half of the of the other Bernadette and my thought I... Wait, hang on. First off, uh, what's my rank? It's at B. I got my heavy armor to B. If this ain't enough, then this is some wrong. This game. Half of the empire of the Bernadette and my father. I, I, what do I do? Last time, Ferdinand, I wanted to do this. Sorry, it took so long. Oh, professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? What? You have perceived my excellence. Oh! Good. But you are not the only person trying to recruit me. I would be happy to join your class, if you are offering. Okay, you scared me! <laughs> I thought you would say that. I look forward to learning under you. You will soon see how superior I am to Edelgard. I mean, you don't have to work hard on that in my book. of the burn it and my eye all right now then that brings our total there are only cheese I got an a rank with Rhea and she's gonna get captured I'm pretty sure and Gilbert will join soon enough that just leaves Petra and Hilda so I want to show you guys something. Check this out. I am Owen Big. He is. A... I am spending my days with devotion to my studies. There is something I think of when looking at you. I am feeling that the way you are teaching would give me great benefit. Are you confused? Because literally last episode I tried, and I determined there was no way to get Petra. There actually is, because your boy is no slouch when it comes to plans. That being said. Is it possible to be switching to your class? I would like to be requesting that of you. I'm sorry, Petra. I have understanding. I was knowing that it was without possibility. I have sadness, but I will keep giving full devotion to my studies in my current class. So let's talk. First off, what did I do? I was told about the hack that 
Well, to be honest, I kind of already knew this. I looked it up before uh, because the whole point I was I've been grinding supports. You guys know. Well, I'm kind of going out of order. Um, but in grinding supports, I looked up how the supports actually work as far as point systems. And I realized that there was a C, a C plus, a B, a B plus. And similarly, I used that for Petra. I realized that and I got a rank to B plus, essentially. What I had it before was at B. But even so, I'm not sure if that alone would have been enough. The only rank I have for writing, you guys saw, is E+. Plus. But that's enough. If you get her to B+, plus with her support. Which I just bought out everything in the market. You see my balance now? I was rolling in the dough, but I bought everything I could. And I tested it off camera. I should have waited, but yeah, I realized I could get Petra. And so when I realized that was the case, I was like, okay, it must be meant then. I should get Petra and then I should get Hilda. But I asked you guys one more time for the polls. And from looking at it, the majority votes, if I exclude the ones who were saying, if I got Petra and go ahead and recruit Hilda, the overwhelming vote was that I don't get Hilda. And the top comment on that was that if the game means a lot, it seems boring to them if I do, if you do uh, recruit everybody. So to that end, I will continue what I said. Hilda and Petra, I'm going to leave behind. Hey everyone, so I'm adding this part in after seeing I talked for like 13 minutes after this. Um, because I wanted you guys to know my feelings. Uh, and I feel like I can shorten that down significantly. Long story short, I hate this. <laughs> Right? Like, it was one thing to leave them behind when I was leaving others behind. But then when I have to recruit everybody else, and literally the two I want to save the most, you want me to leave behind? It It hurts. And honestly, it's something I don't want to do. Right? I'm doing it because that's what the majority of people want. Though... One thing I am wondering about is that if most of the people saying that are people who haven't been watching each and every video. Like there are some of you guys who I know you by name now and I look forward to your comments and what you have to say about things. You guys have been watching pretty much every single Fireman video. Or at least the current ones helping me get everybody and things like that. So you know the situation. I'm wondering if other people just happen to tune into Dimitri's episode when he went crazy and they're like, oh, we want hype moments. Because I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you're telling me to get them or leave them behind because you want to see my reaction to their death, it's going to be different because I'm leaving them behind because you guys wanted me to, right? I wanted to save them and I would have done anything to do that. The Literally, the only thing stopping me is that you guys, the majority of people said to leave them behind. So I think that might be a different reaction than you guys are considering, but... Another thing is that I value the support so much, right? Like the biggest regret that I have on Petra is that I didn't see her support with Claude. I already can't see Baltus' support with Claude. And I hadn't gotten Ferdinand and Casper's support with Hilda. But now I've gotten them, you know, when I was planning on not getting them and I'm leaving Hilda behind again. All the rest of her supports are going to be locked for me too because she doesn't join you in the Black Eagle route. So it's things like that. Like I spent the reason I have so many hours on Fire Emblem Three Houses is because I take the time to use my grinding strat to grind not just the levels, but mainly the supports. Right. And that's something I think because I was uh, an admin of mine was talking to me saying it's kind of weird how you only like done one and a half routes and yet you have more hours than it takes to normally complete the game. It's like, yes, because I'm taking the time to try and get all the supports leaving Hilda behind 
especially Hilda, means that I'd lose access to them for at least what a year because I'd have to finish Edelgard's route first, and then I'm not sure if I would go back and watch them on camera somehow. And also, I was going to try to get as many of the marriage routes as possible. If my units were powerful enough, I could redo the final battle and react to them. But of course, if I don't have Hilda, then that's not possible. Uh, Petra I can save for later, but... Now, I will say this, all right, and I don't want anybody to comment on what I'm about to say. I don't want anybody to acknowledge what I'm about to say. Uh, well, at least those of you who have played the game, though, I mean, if no one could do it, that'd be great. Because, like, I just want to let you guys know that this was part of my reasoning. So you're not thrown off later, I guess, or, you know, my actions make sense. OK, because if I were to know, here's the thing, if somebody does give me an indication on whether or not this is true, I might turn around and go recruit them both, all right? So if you guys want me to do this, all I ask is simply not to mention this part of the video. Any other part, you know, you can mention. And that is, I am hoping Hilda at least survives some kind of way, all right? That is what's convincing me to leave her behind. Why? Because Hilda's different. Dedu and Hubert seem massively loyal to Edelgard and Dimitri. Claude seems like the normal guy of the group. And honestly, I'm wondering if Claude will even survive or not. Like, I, I don't know what Claude's fate would be unless we take him out in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. But Hilda seems like the type that unless Claude dies and she's coming after us for revenge... It doesn't seem like Hilda would lay, lay down her life if the Blue Lions are already, or the kingdom is already putting a hurt on the empire. Furthermore, there's the Dew. I still feel like out of everybody, I possibly could have saved the Dew if I had warped in there or like rescued him with Flane. Like there would have been no way for him to be killed if we were protecting him. I could have ended Edelgard massively early with Lysithia's warps, but. I wanted to take out the whole map systematically, and once I take out Petra, I was pretty much demotivated. Especially since I didn't know to do that well back then. But if I see Hilda, best believe, with the as powerful as my units are, I'm going to try to rescue her. Because I feel like if anybody's role would be different, it would be hers. So that is what's convincing me that it's like, okay, I don't know what happens in the future with hilda like i'm trusting you guys with everybody else on who to recruit i'm trusting you guys that actually leaving her behind is not just to react to her death so with that being said i think it's time to say goodbye to the old monastery let's go listen up everyone the imperial army is upon us if you can fight pick up a weapon Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the goddess's protection on our side. We have nothing to fear. Right. Victory will be ours. Right. Professor, are you ready? Was Catherine the one here or was it Shamir? Almost. I'm gonna have to check well, that. Hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. Yeah. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. Do not underestimate how extraordinary her abilities are. That's the one thing, though. I still look at Edelgard as Hilda's first level up. I mean, admittedly, that's just how things worked out. But for me, it's just funny how they hype her up. And I'm like, yeah. All right. They're here. At long last. It seems this will be a battle to remember. About time. I'll never give up. No matter how outnumbered we are, I'll fight to the very end. Hmm. I should have made a move on the Imperial Princess before things got this far. Nah. It could have changed everything. Sylvain, so don't even. We have the Goddess's divine protection on our side. All that's left is to try our best. I'm surprised Dimitri didn't shoot him some daggers after that comment. All we can do is fight as best we can. Though... If I'm being honest, I'm really scared right now. We can't just hand over the kingdom in the monastery. We'll stop her, no matter what it takes. Your Highness, you do not seem well. Yeah? 
Unwell, you say? Oh. What's gotten into you? Oh, what in the world? Nothing could be farther from the truth. I'm so happy I can hardly contain myself. Now it's a different man. It's a different man. My father, my stepmother, my dear friends. Oh. They want her head. Oh. They want her life. Oh. They've whispered as much to me. Now he's lost. And the chance to answer their pleas has arrived at long last. Uh... <laughs> Don't act rashly. We're in this together. <laughs> of course, of course. Uh... But don't mistake my intentions. Uh huh. Edelgard will die by my hand and mine alone. Yo, what is this, man? Let's move, Professor. Even if it costs me my life, I won't rest until I've crushed her skull in my bare hand. You got this happy music? And he's saying some twist, such twisted stuff. I mean, I guess that's how he's feeling. <sighs> Which I guess one more thing. Dimitri's reaction is exactly why I was saying, guys, why would I try to understand Edelgard at this point? My house leader ain't about that life right now. All right, with that being said, it's done. Well, I mean, technically, I always could come back here. But, no. No, I've done what I needed to do. So, I won't do the map today. I want to get this episode edited and some other stuff done. But next time, we'll leave the pre-time skip behind. And... Also, Hilda and Petra. So, with that being said, we're at least, I guess, guaranteed for some interesting times with that decision. This has been Blade. Thank you all so much for watching, as always. Especially those of you who have watched every episode thus far. And I'm continuing to support the series so that I can reach this point. Literally, thank you guys so much. And we'll see you all for the final battle of the pre-time skip next time.